Welcome back, disc golf fans, to the 2023 Birdie Open, presented by Gatekeeper Media and supported by Innova. We are here in the first state, the state of Delaware, where we have this hidden gem of Iron Hill. And we are back for this back nine where it gets very technical, very wooded, and very fun to watch. My name is Chris. We have Derek, co-founders and co-owners here, hanging out again. How you doing, man? I'm doing great. It's always a pleasure, like I said before, and I will say every time Iron Hill is home to us, our first elite event that we ever filmed right here in our backyard. We're super honored to be able to cover some local talent here as well. Yeah, bringing us into hole 10. This went through a change way back when. Was a par 5, moved into a par 4, shortened up at 615 feet. Very fun hole. The first shot is the shot I think that matters the most. It's a very interesting line. It really sets up for this Anheuser forehand shot or a lefty kind of turnover. But yeah, this uh, basically it's a slight bend to the left the entire way. But it's not like a traditional line. I don't it's it's hard to explain, I think. It's, I think I'm, something that I've observed over the years is that you have to throw higher then feels natural in a lot of cases higher and with a little more hyzer because that's going to keep the disc thinner through that area and gives it enough air time to kind of keep pushing to the left Mm -hmm. but nothing with the stability that's going to push you too far to the left and then you get pinched as right just a neutral high glide throw it high you see these kind of steps here to prevent erosion. That's kind of, you want to get to that last step up there, that third one, that's a little bigger. And you, I would say that's a good shot and that's going to give you a, a birdie opportunity. But it's very easy to just, this is where the course gets really tough and you start having these weird angles you have to throw, like Harry right here. Oh, and a great kick, putting him in the perfect direction. Wow. Long look for birdie. It was probably hard to roll her. It was it was kind of hard to tell, but MJ had quite a lot of trees blocking off a clean shot. So I think that that might have been really the only option he had. Hammer was the only one to stay off from getting a bogey in the front nine. But with that shot there, it's going to be really tough for him to save his par as we finally get to Dylan, who got so far over here to the left. I was disoriented from that one. (laughs) Yeah, he he was very (laughs) far over on the left. Uh, Had this crazy forehand approach. Still has some work, though. That's a beautiful turnover. Easy par for Dylan. Oh, wow. It's not what you want yeah. to happen with a soft bid. Yeah, and with that, Hammer's going to be the last person on the card to... Ooh, Harry catching the band. He's going to be the last person on the card to take a bogey or worse as Iron Hill showing how hard it is with every player now putting red on the scorecard. <laughs> Hammer keeps it to one, though. The great putt. Yeah, and Hammer knowing that he had was blemish free until this point, it read all over his face just there. Good par save for Michael Joe. He's got a string of pars. And 
Bar's good at Iron Hill. We'll always say that and always have. All right, hole 11, 600 foot par four. As you can see, again, very tight. You want to beat this gap right here to give yourself really any play. <clears throat> Not really much more to say than that. There's on either direction, if you're off your line, you could be scrambling. Yeah, there is a landing zone to the left a little bit. Uh, so you can fade out after you get past those trees you were talking about. Which isn't the worst spot as Dylan oh my God. crushes that. Wow. He went so, hey, I mean, I don't even think he's going to have an angle he went so far. <laughs> I think far. That second tree kept it closer. Yeah, you want to stay straight, but it's okay if you get a little left. I would say if that is the miss, like MJ here. Mm. Mm. Yeah, see what I mean? <laughs> there's a lot. <laughs> Literally that last tree. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot peppered on this. So even that, if you don't hit that dedicated landing area, kind of where catch cam is, um, there it really could be anything. Mac kicked back over onto the fairway, which makes him have to contend with that gap still. And about halfway through the flight, catching a tree. Oh, such a tough line from MJ, and he was so close. It's really hard to get something to push that far right there. Well, you can also see that, like, the green is made up with, like, a very pronounced opening from, from this angle, right? Like... It, it looks very, it's like, hey, this is how you get in here, and that's just that. <laughs> like, Hammer pushing that a little long, but it's got probably a 25-footer as Dylan. Man, after that great drive, you just know he's kicking himself for that second shot. As great third, it's going to give him his par. Harry for his birdie. Big butt for Matt. This is to not take two bogeys in a row. Things getting a little tough in the middle of this round for Matt. Yeah, and we're at a position on the course where you don't really want to lose your cool. Yeah, this is the part where it can get very, very tough with holes 12, 13, 14 coming up. As these scorecards are getting not as bright as they were. A lot more gray and red. And it doesn't get any better. It only gets harder. So we're going to move into hole 12. Uh, bar four, 520 feet. Tough tunnel here. Dog leg left. Kind of want to just throw straight and you can land right over here. Right past this tree, and that's fine. If you want to get very aggressive, you can throw something that's going to finish left. Uh, but I don't think it's really necessary based on the distance. And this green surrounded by rocks and sloping away from the basket with OB on the right hand side the entire way you say surrounding surrounded by rocks the green is rocks 
<laughs> it is nothing but rocks at the end of this hole, and that's okay. You know, everybody is playing the same terrain, and it adds a lot of challenge to it. Footing, something that a lot of people don't have to think about much. Yeah, and with the boulders there and then the sloping green behind it, it makes you want to have to throw it harder to get over the boulders to get to the basket. Yeah, and theoretically, you could leak too far to the right, and there is OB because of the parking lot as well. Oh, yeah, there's OB the whole right way. <laughs> so, I mean, OB can come in right here on the drive. It's only maybe 10 feet from Matt there. <clears throat> so, yeah, this, this path that runs through the park... Uh, plays as OB on a couple different holes, and it's tough adding OB into these tight woods. Dylan's looking at a line really far over here to the left. Big hyzer. I like it. Yeah, and he stays top side of that slope. Ooh, Harry was so close to that out of bounds. He forces one over, and this needs to get down, and it does. Yeah, pretty good. Roughly pin high, just probably 45, 50. MJ getting over the boulders and hitting the tree. That is a dream come true. Mm -hmm. Oh, great pitch from sat. Harry. Yeah. That is such a tough putt to run. Very easy roll away potential down into that parking lot slash road we were talking about. Man, this is such a tough putt. Two trees right there. Got to split them or go to the left. Oh, yeah, with confidence. Good bounce back for Hammer. Is he able to get back to two under? We've seen this. I was gonna say we've seen this hole take a lot of people's lunch money over the years. Yeah, this is a this is a good one. Hole twelve is one of the best holes on the course. Maybe I need to save one for the next drive. Time delay, dude. That's a courtesy violation. That's a stroke. You're down by three now, potty man. What? <laughs> Another par three, 360 foot, hole 13. Uh, it's just kind of, again, very tight, zigzagging downhill this time. Um, you're gonna, so it looks like from here, you wanna throw out more, but you wanna kind of finish more to the left. That's yeah, probably a little more left than I thought, but he punches through nonetheless. Yeah, you want to push it straight pretty long and then have it tail and finish right at the end. Uh, but it's so tricky because you have OB road to the right. So you're kind of throwing it right at the OB. And then hoping it kind of fades back at the end. Oh, Dylan finds that OB. And if you go too overstable, it's very easy to just fade out early. And then you still have a little bit of meat on the bone. You end up in those trees over there, kind of where Harry just went. His was off a kick, unfortunately, but. It's just so deceiving. Like when you're looking from the tee, it really feels like you should throw something just right through that gap right in front of you. But as you see here, MJ sold it off. He got caught up here a little bit, but that should have put him down <clears throat> in the middle there. 
had he not gotten caught up with an opening C. Yeah, and he's still, that's tough. He's going to have a long par save. Dylan having to kind of step out and go forehand. Honestly, him him going out there, you know, it did have at least it was on the other side of that cluster, so that he at least had a chance. Harry's going to have himself an easy par. Hammer the only one for birdie. Very close. It's right on line, just a little higher. Nice putt. Man. MJ has been lighting it up with the putting. His scorecard doesn't really show the type of round he's having, but overall. Well, it, it, I mean, it is. That par is good. Yeah. <laughs> Dylan for the bogey. This, this scorecard is just getting all the more dull. <laughs> all right, hole 14, par three, 400 feet. Great tunnel shot here. Slight little finish to the left. Can push right side, miss a couple trees, and get down there. But this one's tricky to really park, I would say. Uh, you don't really see a lot of the card parking this hole. It's easy to kind of fade out a little early. It's just, it's just a tough shot to get down there, I think. These last couple trees here at the end just make it tough. It's fire very, from Harry. It's a very specific 400 feet. You know, it's got to be on a rope, and leaving that in as a par three, it really, I think it is a very fair guesstimate. MJ turns his over a little bit, but it looks like it oh, wow. <laughs> misses almost everything and then even funnels for him to be able to have a putt. Pretty good shot there from Dylan. He's going to have a putt for Birdie as well. I'm going to end up over there on the left side, and it can get tough. As we see there with Harry now throwing three. Pushes that one long. He's still outside the circle putting for bogey. Pretty cut and dry there for Hammer. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> A nice clinic go. from MJ. Yeah, he gets one in for birdie this time. I love these like long from downtown like Annie putts where it just has that little flex to it and just slams. Oh, so clean, so great. Yeah, I will never get bored watching Michael Johansson on on coverage. Dylan almost able to execute the bounce back. 
Tap and par, though, as Harry with the great putt for bogey. It's one way to stop at, the bleeding. Yeah, it keeps him at even, doesn't push him into the plus numbers. It's got to be a good, uh, it's got to feel good knowing that you make a big putt like that. Give you give you the juice and the adrenaline you need to finish out this round because it gets tough. Sure does. Uh, hole 15, 400 foot, par 3, uh, uphill. And then it, I think a lot of you would probably know from the Austin Hannum Ace a few years ago. Um, it's something else I still to this day kind of boggle my mind. But that hump here in the middle is just the one to beat. And it should be able to filter you as long as you carry a little forward right over it. Yeah, this is the last par three of the course. Spoiler alert. Uh, so it's one you want to get. So I would also say it's probably the easiest of the par threes. We're going to see that forehand route from Dylan, I think. Yeah, the shape of the hole really sets up for it. I think the righty forehand. Yeah, I agree. Is Or a lefty backhand with like a turnover or something and i still think that the kind of the angle for the lefty isn't quite as sharp as what you could get accomplished with a righty forehand because mm -hmm. so you really do have the ability to like force it over more yeah this righty line you need to throw a big flip up have it push straight for a while and it's very common a lot of people end up just kind of over here on this hillside to the left yeah, I think, I think like a hyzer flip with the angle kind of sloping along with the fairway. Hammer's going to have a circle two putt for par. Easy approach for Dylan. But as you can see here, like once you get over that like hump in the middle of the fairway, it flattens out pretty good. Yeah, it allows you to really get aggressive on your, as long as you're over that hillside, your putt, whether it be from 100 or 30. Yeah, I mean, don't get me wrong. It's still there a slight grade, as we can see here on camera, um, but in comparison. Oh. It's going to be another bogey for Hammer. Save his four, and he does. Man, these guys have really been putting so well today. Overall, while it mostly has been for par or bogey, we've seen some really good saves. Well, what comes from necessity, right? Like these bigger putts to save even bogey, like it's, it is what you have to do out here. Tough hole for the group. Hole 16, 600 foot par four. 
and these last three holes are so fun. This one, another little kind of S curve here. Slight bend to the right, and then we have a slight bend to the left. A lot of rocks near the green make it tough to slide up to the basket. Say you want to have this first shot finish left to right. Sets up good for a righty backhand turnover, just like this. That should be fine for MJ. Kicking right was better. <laughs> like, as yeah, you, you can definitely hear it's jail there on the left. Yeah, you want to get right for sure. Just opens up the hole oh, more, wow. allows you to almost see the basket. It's like that right there from Harry. That's going to be tough because he's too far left. It's going to be a tricky approach to get to the basket. And then this for Hammer. That's way too far left. Uh, he's, oh, he's got a little opening, I think. Oh, you got to uh, have so oh. much trust in your game there. Dylan going big Annie forehand on the right-hand side. Wow. And having it fade out. Should be able to get up and down for par from over there because, like you said, the right side is definitely more open. Wheels coming off here on this hole for Harry. Yeah. Harry had a pretty decent shot. It was just a little too far left that made that angle hard to get the hyzer there. You catch those trees on the right. Hammer's just trying to get up and down for par at this point. I don't know if that's going to be it. MJ finds himself in a great spot. Oh, yeah, we oh, finally get it, to him. It was very close to that tree, but... Oh, that's so good. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, Hammer still has some work here. Throwing four. And he executes I mean, well. Yeah, mitigating the damage. Also, maybe kind of throwing a Hail Mary. Hoping that a big shot like that goes in to save the par. Harry's going to get his par with a tap in. A little touchy forehand from Dylan as well. So, see a bunch of different scores on this whole 16 coming in. Good separation. This hammer all the way back down to even now. This back nine has not been one that he wants to remember. We could say the opposite for MJ, stringing some birdies, coming down to the wire. Hole 17, I would say, probably the most iconic of the bunch here at Iron Hill. An 860 foot par five, narrow all the way, slight serpentine with the beautiful mound green here, built-in staircase. Uh, it's been home to a few eagles, over the years. Yeah, this is my favorite hole in the course. Shout out to Adam Harris for the design. Um, he is also the designer for Stafford Woods. And here's everyone's friendly reminder to uh, support keeping that course in the ground. So that's another special one for us. Great shot from Dylan. It's basically where you want to land, anywhere in that landing zone. Harry just oh, needed to get over that last one. This is one of the holes where you can definitely see some ground play. Uh, the rock's a little more sparse there on the fairway. It's not that they weren't there, but... Catch some leaves. Oh, just go. Just go. 
Because that is not a good kick for Hammer. I mean, maybe. Uh, he might have a line from over there, actually. I mean, it looks like he's going to go forehand roller, so maybe yeah. not. Lining up and overhand is a lot of times signal of, oh, I ain't got nothing else. Oh, curl around. Lays it down All really right. good, though. Yeah. I'd say it's pretty decent. And these are one of the holes where you can get up and down for par, even when you do have a uh, at least one of your shots be not the most in terms of progressing down the fairway. Beautiful play from MJ. Finds himself there squared up in the middle, setting himself up really great for his third. Man, look at this wow. angle for Harry. He's just got to rip a nice straight shot, and he's working his way down the left side. Yeah, that's two in a row for Harry being a little too low, so I hope to see him kind of recalibrate that for his third. Dylan's missing him. Oh, that's so good. Dylan putting himself in a great spot to get birdie. Mm, that doesn't flip up quite as much. Still can save par from there, though. It's all about just chunking the hole away. All right. Hey, anytime you're up on that hillside, it's, you're giving yourself a good look. Oh, up, so up. good. Oh. oh. It's easy to get too fast, though, and kind of end up past the basket. Because there is a slope on the backside as well. Harry kind of finds the left side. Or uh, Matt, I'm sorry. Let's see if MJ has another one in him. So something to consider here is that, you know, that was the first time at that distance that he was really forced to go more of a straddle putt. So it really didn't get him much room to kind of get over on that ante putt as much. So you saw that it kind of was a little too far left to begin with. Harry looking to be the lone birdie and get himself back to under for the round. It's a big putt. Oh. oh, oh, wow. What? Oh, that was awesome. <laughs> that was so cool. I can't believe he made that. I'm glad he's all right. Good putt from Matt. Having to putt from over that side could really do a lot in terms of, like, the mental side of the putt. Because it's like right out of the gate, you're like, oh, I'm too far left. That's in a bad area. But you do have roughly circle's edge around it that's on top of the hill. Yeah, as long as you're kind of on the slope anywhere on the hill, you're at least giving yourself a chance. So we're going to move into hole 18, final hole of this round. And boy, this has been a crazy one. It's been really good. This par four, slight dog leg to the left. So many trees to miss. You want to have something finish strong to the left. And then you can pick either the left or the right gap to try to get over this hump. Or I should say boulder and find yourself in the basket. Yeah, some courses have guardian trees. We have guardian boulders. This looks decent from Harry. Needs to check up, and I'd say that tree probably helped him. It's easy to kind of just finish a little too straight and right on this hole, on this first shot. That's why I was saying you kind of want to push a little more left, but you don't want to go too left too early because then yeah, you're going to catch a bunch of trees. So, I mean, it's no such bite. a... Just such a touchy hole. 
So MJ is going to be in a tough spot. That one doesn't really have much fight left on it either. Funnels. A little better than MJ. Could just throw it straight and kind of end up where Hammer is. Tricky shot. You're not really going to get birdie, I don't think. Uh, I don't think anyone really hit their line like they intended there. I do like this creative play from Hammer. Yeah, and the level of difficulty there, having it touch down so far ahead of him. Yeah, he should be looking at a good, easy par. It's MJ in a tough spot. Mm. And hole 18 so tough and so tricky. Like, you could be having a good round or you could be having a bad round, and it's either insult to injury or it's a round killer. Whoa. Uh, Dylan with a meaty roller almost jumping the boulders. We need to see a roller eagle one day on this one. Harry getting caught up as well. MJ throwing three, so he's going to have to execute here if he wants to save par. And execution done. Puts himself to the edge of the circle. Stuff for Harry. Matt for the birdie, trying to finish under for the round. Valiant effort. Yeah, yeah roller coaster round for Matt Hammerstein, but overall, some really good play. And for his oh. par. High and weak. That's going to drop him to two under. Dylan, barring anything crazy here, finishing two under for the round. A couple missed putts here or there. Some really great shots overall. And still in the hunt and still battling. Could see him final round. MJ two under with the bogey. Harry hanging around at one as scores are tight after all, everything that happened this round. <laughs> Take a look down, and there's only two strokes. So I'm top and the bottom. I mean, if you shoot even, you're you're in the mix, you know. Taking a look, Michael Johansson, two under, Dylan Horse, two under, Harry, one, and Matt Hammerston. Tough back nine there, but finishes even for the round. Take a look at the scores. Yeah, hot round of the day at five under, so not to be underestimated here, folks. Double digits is very rare. It goes to show the difficulty here, and we're excited to uh, showcase some new players on the next round here for you. Stay tuned. <laughs>